this pavilion or gazebo was built in 1930 or 1933, I believe, 33. And there's all this petrified wood locally from Glen Rose and some other rocks. Right here is the actual dinosaur track that was excavated on the Paluxy River. It was put in this wall here. You can see it. I'll put my hand down here so you can see the size of it. This is 113 million years old. Here in the state park, this is just at the visitor center. We're not gonna go in the park today. But if you can see the, how big these tracks are. There's my wife's foot up next to it. There's some of them that are really, really uh, show some detail like the three toes here. That foot with the like three, three toes or whatever. like they might have cut these tracks actual tracks out and put in this deal the way they're cracking around it i don't know how they did it for sure but they're actually they are actual dinosaur tracks that one over there here's my foot up against the smaller dinosaur track and here's a nice one detailed here you can see the whole trackway here. One, two, three, four, five, six tracks, whatever. There's more than dinosaurs down there in the state park, which we're not going today. Just shows you information about the state park the track sites on the paluxy river and this all started back in 1938 when they were discovered american museum of natural history in new york city came down here to excavate the original trackway in 1940. this goes to show you the size of one of the kid like in a bathing pool or whatever and this picture on the right shows how long the trackway is it's a three-toed theropod and large saucer-shaped sauropod tracks is what it says here. That's what the same thing as what we're looking at in this trackway that was excavated. Yeah, we left Glen Rose and we're uh, headed kind of the way to Fort Worth, kind of back way. And uh, we've been here for just a couple of minutes. This fossil place is mostly brachiopods, what we're looking for, this little king in a you can see right here they're pretty small about the size of a little fingernail some bigger some smaller right away my wife found that nice scallop shell she picked up the first part of the video it's called a pectin or knee uh, i believe the name of it it's kind of racket bug to pick it up and we might find a echinoid or an ammonite here also but it's getting warm here in Texas. It's already probably mid 80s. We left the fossil show and now we're going to do a fossil hunt.
was nice to peck them. They're, they're rare. Just got that little pecker broke off the left. The right, that's the best one I've ever seen. Me too. Mm-hmm. Pretty nice. Yep. If you can see Fort Worth in the distance. This sea urchin that I just picked up, they get a lot bigger, but that is a pretty nice clean one there. See both sides of it. Probably a little macraster, echinoid, sea urchin. Hope to find a bigger one here and it's as clean as that one would be really nice. Kind of curious about this one that my wife found. That one echinoid there, that sea urchin that I caught a hole last year. Couldn't tell it had so much dirt on it. We got some of those at the show, but they're really, really hard to find in really nice condition. Got another, which had the bottom broke off of it. 
Mostly we're finding those little brachiopods, and that's the majority of what we picked up was those. This is very nice one there. Got a little color to it. The shell of it. Those are close to 100 million years old. Broken ammonite that I picked up would have been nice. It all been there. Got a couple more pieces in the car that show you too that we haven't got out yet. We bagged separately because they were nice pieces to keep keep out. Scarlet type shell that she found. She's got a pretty one in the car. We're gonna check out here a little bit. With a little ammonite that I found, a little miniature. A few hundred of those brachiopods, I guess. The other stuff we found, there's one echinoid that I found. It's a nice one. A little macraster. And my wife found a little tiny one down there. That's what's called a Johnny Forest. Echinoid sea urchin. It's really tiny. Ammonite. Very, very tiny ammonite. We'll keep that one on the display cabinet. So cute for tiny. And she found this real neat scarlet type shell, different species. Still got that one part broke off on the left side, but I we had some of that nice before. That's the prettiest one I've ever seen. Almost completed, except that one part broken off and then it's a little tiny I'm an oyster here that was tiny in there I'm watching that's called a chicken's paw or cat's paw. So that's our fun for the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching.